Hey guys, so welcome back to another day of Wendy in the city. That was so dramatic. I didn't even know where I was going with that. But anyways, so the video I have for today is so controversial and just our age group and everything like that. Online dating, dating through social media, dating period. What is dating? I mean, I think we went over that. The whole dating, you know, talking, whatever, whatever. But today is more so on online dating, social media dating. Do you do it? What do you do? Have you had an experience in it? How does it go? So first off, let me start by saying this. Hey, <laughs> oh my God, I love that song. Um, I've online dated, if that is how you say it. Um, I start, not online, I social media online, whatever, whatever. I did Tinder, okay? I did Tinder and I started Tinder last summer i think like into may june a co-worker was like wendy do you date and i was just like no i haven't dated in ages like what i don't even use that term like what is that he was like you need to get out there there's so many people to meet blah 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 blah. and i'm typically not the person to like go up to you and just be like oh you're cute like what and that's okay i'm perfectly fine living in my single dumb and you know I'm not having to worry about nobody and nobody has to worry about me and i can do what i want when i want okay but Anyways, he was like, you need to date. And I just was like, um, whatever. And so we're like waiting at the train one day and the train taking forever. And I just was like, fuck it. I'm just going to, I'm going to download Tinder. Right? So I download Tinder and at first I really didn't get it. And I was very selective with the people I liked. And then once I understood that you can just like that, you can dislike a person you can like a person they'll never know unless they like you back right um so you swipe left to like dislike someone and then let's see if i ever get a person to swipe right for okay that's okay um i don't know if i'm ever going to get a person to swipe right for Um, I didn't think this was going to take it. Anyways, so I got into Tinder and, you know, I was liking, disliking, especially once I figured out you can like as many people as you want and they went and see you like them. I was like, cool, whatever. No harm in that. So I just was like liking, 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 whatever. So I meet one person and they're cool. We have like some common interests or whatever. And he was cool or whatever. We exchanged numbers and um, chatted for a little while, but that was about it. I didn't, I was like, Yo, we'll hang out in the summer if, if that happens or whatever. So, you know, I'm liking other people's profile. I talked to another person. I like they were really cool until like they started talking about like sex and weird shit. And I was just like, um, that's okay. You can go the other way or whatever so dismiss that so then i had liked this guy's lou profile whatever and it was like an instant match like right then and there. i was like okay cool whatever and i remember i remember this immediately because i was on i was coming from work and i was on the bus and it was a friday night it was a friday evening i got off of work at like three something or whatever when i was working in tyson's and so i'm going i'm going to the metro or whatever and like we're messaging back through the app and he was just like yeah i'm gonna go to like the beach for the weekend with like my friends and my family or something 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 I was like, oh that's cool whatever whatever and like we kind of stopped talking after that little conversation and so keep you know talk talking to people whatever and one day I'm on the metro going to work and this guy sits next to me and I was like I didn't really I was reading my book so I really didn't like look at him but I like saw like arm down because he was like, really tall and I was just like oh he's kind of cute just from like the bottom down like the arm of tattoos and like the outfit and I was like oh he's kind of cute and so when I got off the train I'm like waiting for my bus and like I would just get on tinder when it was like nothing to do and so I get on tinder and I was like that looks like the, that those tattoos like the guy that was on the train I was like huh who knows liked the photo instantly it was a match and he was like oh my god you just went next to me on the train I wanted to say something but I didn't want to like interrupt you reading your book because you seemed really into it good because I really was into my book 
and and I probably wouldn't give you my number then I would have missed a whole bunch of stuff because that was a horrible experience but um anyways and then we exchanged numbers and then when we told him, we like, oh my gosh, we should hang out. And he was like, oh, I live in Boston. I go to this school. And I was like, oh my gosh. I like used to live, I used to live over there for school or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Come to find out, like I worked with his brother, like when I was at All Saints back in the day or whatever. And I was just like, okay, this is crazy. This is like, you know, fate type cool stuff, or whatever. But then he became to be an annoyance and he was like really like showboaty and that's not my that's not my thing. And then it was just like, he was like, oh, I'm going to buy you gifts. And I'm just like, that's not my thing. He was like, oh, you want me to be my girlfriend? I'm just like, that damn short isn't my thing. I just met you like a couple weeks ago. Like, you need to like, calm down. He was like, I want to wife you. I know I do. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. So it was like really off-putting. I kind of like kept trying to shove him to the side. But he just like kept popping up. I was like, whatever. So you fast forward, that was maybe like, I feel like the beginning of August, mind you, the guy Lou, I had first had the first conversation where we had like talked some or whatever. And I think in that one conversation, he's like, oh, what's your Instagram? And I give him my Instagram. But then we hadn't talked anymore. So then randomly he hit me on the thing again. It was like, oh my God, you so something, something, something. Oh my gosh, you know, we can like trade. I buy food, you teach me how to sew, whatever, whatever. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like everything was like all through the friendship thing. And I'm like, that's like what I'm like, like that's what I go for, like friendship or whatever. So that was cool. And then we like didn't talk anymore. I wasn't really tripping. Like it was just some random person online whose name was Lou. The pictures weren't that um, descriptive. So I couldn't be like, oh my gosh, he's trying to sell. I need to find him. It was just like, kind of can see him, kind of cute his hair whatever whatever so fast forward to like the second week of august might be the third it wasn't the third week of august no 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 because my birthday's the fourth yeah so like the second week of it was five weeks in august so it was the second week of august and i'm on you i'm going to like some young leech concert and i end up having to go by myself because a girl i work with couldn't make it or whatever so i go and it was like real crazy like throwing water i mean he has a song called water so it was just like real real like slightly ratchet and I'm just like oh I'm standing to the back like I'm listening to music but I'm not getting close to that little mosh pit thing so I'm like looking I'm like and I have on heels so I really couldn't tell if that was him or not so I was like I feel like he would be taller I don't know I'm just like I feel like that's him and so I was like I'm not the type of person to go and be like hey are you no so I texted him I was like hey are you up you should you haul whatever so he didn't text me I was like oh whatever so the next day I get uh, um, I get a uh, message saying, who is this? And it was from him. And I was just like, oh no. First of all, I don't respond to who is this. Like if I text, like if I text you when you say who is this or if I call you like, no. So I was like, oh hell no. That's dude. Never talking to him again. Which is horrible because I just brush it off so quickly. And so... I didn't respond and I think he might have had an iPhone so he could saw that I read it I don't know and so then he was just like he called me I was just like whoa I'll do an answer I was like fuck it I'm like sitting there doing my homework it's a Saturday like before I'm about to go out so I answered the phone and I was like hello and he was like I was like hello and he was like hey who he was like is this women I was like yeah and he was like oh what's up but whatever and he was like why didn't you say hi and I was like I'm not that type of person like that's okay so what did I do um, we were talking, he was like, oh, yeah, you know, are you going to chill it? And, like, it was, like, really easy general conversation. I like it when the conversation is easy and I don't have to force it. Like, we were on the phone for, like, an hour. He was like, are you going to chill like that? I was like, I don't know. My friends are trying to get me to go. It's my birthday weekend. My, he was like, it's my birthday weekend. I was like, wait, really? When's your birthday? He was like, the 23rd. I was like, oh, my gosh, mine's the 25th. Oh, my gosh, we're two days apart. He was like, oh, then even if you don't go to chill like that, we got to do something that weekend. Oh, my gosh, we got to get lit. And it was just like, oh, my gosh, he's nice. Like you don't even really know me you're just like we have to do something because it's our birthday weekend i was like okay he's cool whatever so i ran into him the, the following like tuesday or wednesday or something at u-haul again because vashti was um dj and i went with my friends and i saw him and i ran into him he was like oh what's up you know it was really cool or whatever so i was like okay he's cool or whatever so like we was like texting like randomly in between those two weeks of trillet between the day we had ran into each other and then on my birthday weekend and so then he was like um I hadn't decided if I was going to chill out there he's like go 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 and then he was like well my friends are throwing me like a cookout or whatever for my birthday you should come and I was just like uh okay and so I first I was like I was hanging out with my friend Shayla like 
a lot of the summer or whatever and I was like oh I'm gonna bring my friend Shayla first of all I'm not going alone that's like really weird and then I mean like Shayla's cool person she can talk to people and like she's like way more like open and nicer than me so yeah I'm bringing Shayla so me and her they're just like whoa we're like the two people who don't know everyone else it was so random but it was cool whatever and then it was a dog Ugh, not even gonna talk about that I don't like dogs Oh, I'm more of like afraid of dogs yeah so what happened it was cool everything was cool and then the next day it was Trelecto we basically hung out that day like the whole day of Trelecto like at Trelecto very fun it's really cool guy whatever so then the next day we hung out again um lit my friends his friends it was it was really cool or whatever so yeah and friend friend and then it turned into something else and Lou is currently Luis to me and he is re boyfriend so yeah I mean I had a cool experience for my last experience with cool experience the first one that I actually hung out with I really couldn't couldn't dig it he was I had to put him on the block call list because I was just done it was just like you're annoying and you didn't get the point that I'm like telling you to leave me alone so whatever but Luis was definitely a one like Never would have thought I would have met him on a social media thing. Never would have thought he would be the type of person to go on there. Never, never thought I would be the type of person to go on there. So it was just like, yeah. And then it's just like, once we met him, it was like, we were kind of like, damn, I feel like I've already known you. Like, I really wasn't like a lot. I was, I was a I was nervous every time I would like go meet him or whatever. But like the first time we really, really hung out was like grilled cheese social. And it was just like, oh, scared, random. Uh, uh, uh. But then it was like cool to the point I was just like oh this is chill like I'm like little nerves but then it's just like oh he's kind of like my best friend or whatever and then we're here and that's my little yeah my little joint or whatever so that's my experience my last experience was a great experience and I'm so happy I did it now, I've had some friends who have had not so good experiences and I'm going to give you all just a little bit of that. My friend Braylon was catfished. Um, that sucks. Um, sucks a lot. A whole lot. And she was just like, you know, they had been like heavily talking but very casually over like Twitter or like some social media site. And then he finally was like, oh, I'm going to come up to your school. And he came up and like she saw him from a distance. It was like, um that doesn't really look like him and then she got up close was like damn it doesn't really look like him so clearly photoshop was his friend and that was that but she was like you know i'm not gonna say that because like his personality is really really nice and then they like hung out and then the personality was really really not nice and she never spoke to him again from that day so i will say beware um any personal tips i would give is if you're talking to a person like really heavily say for a week meet them in a social place like really get to see them and like try to be like know them on like a face-to-face -face level i would definitely never like talk to somebody for like long periods of time and then like long over a week or two i'm not gonna talk to you and then never see you it's just not gonna happen i need to see your face because i mean as much as people say face like um your face doesn't matter it matters a little bit um what else my friend Amira was like, it's tricky, it is tricky, it's scary, it is scary, but it's just kind of, you have to go in there with an open mind, and that's what I did. I mean, I just looked at it as like a fun thing to do for the summer, you know, meet a couple people, whatever. You might, we might hang out on U Street, we might hang out in DuPont, and then once the summer's over, this is over. Clearly, mine didn't work out like that, but I'm totally fine with that. Um... My friend Christopher was like, no, it's way too many people on this earth to be having to deal with like digital interactions. That's true. But if you're not the person to like initiate things and then like say it, that person's not the person to initiate things, social media makes like it like a, this this easier barrier. Um, my friend Tiffany was like in the New York social scene. It's definitely taking a toll. People are like, it's taking it like it makes it easier for guys to get laid and it's like less easy for the dating but she knows like two people who have like successful relationships out of it i know a couple other people who have got successful relationships out of tinder um you don't even have to just use tinder it could be any other sort of thing i will say it's just all about what you make it so just kind of take everything that happens on these like social media sites in like, terms of like dating and love and all of the sex and everything with like a grain of salt have an open mind um also if you're talking to someone longer than a week like heavily texting or whatever whatever meet them in person let it be a museum let it be starbucks a mall i mean obviously go somewhere very social so if anything happens it's like whoa 
I got you on camera or, you know, people are around. But, you know, don't spend majority of your time talking online because that's just unnecessary. Definitely get to, like, meet them in person or whatever. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was kind of long, but I wanted to give you all the backspill, you know. It's summer, you know. This is the time where people are, like... They like to meet people. They like to have little summer flings, as you all would call them. I'm not for flings. But, you know, you you could just... I mean, the thing is, when I was meeting people on Tinder, it was just kind of, like, for friend reasons. So, like, that was every person who was for, like, for, like, friend reasons, not for two guys. I was like, I'm not interested in you. Like, I would, I need to be a friend with you. So, you just meet pure friends. Like, I'm the type of person who... I don't have a lot of friends. I have, like, my core best friends. And, unfortunately, my best friends are moving. Both of them. To two separate places across the United States. So, it's like... I'll meet people. Well, obviously, I'm not going on Tinder now because people will get the wrong idea and my boyfriend ain't having that. But you get what I'm saying? Have an open mind. Try it out. You might like it. You never know. So go ahead and do it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. It will be another video up in a couple of days, actually. I'm finally going to record my spring, summer um, palette type um, thing. Currently, my favorite song is if you like ratchet music <laughs>